The hostility between these two guys is real. March 25th. My objective is putting a beating on Caleb Plant. Knockout artist and two-time title holder David Benavidez takes on the smooth technician and former champ Caleb Plant. I need to teach him a life lesson. They knocked him down! And no one's backing down. I'm gonna beat the living shit out of you. You're not gonna do nothing? David Benavidez versus Kayla Platt, Saturday, March 25th, live on pay-per-view. Thank you, I appreciate this. You want your one of these? I'm good, KG. You want your ginger shot? I'm good, man, I'm good. I need some positivity today. I'm trying to cover this spread, and your vibe is off, G. What's wrong with my vibe? You got to get you one of these, G. Get to sip some of this positivity in your life, and boom! You see that? Spread's covered. Thank you, mama. In a minute, G. Ha-ha! Thank y'all, man, for giving us the time, man. Uh, Paul's been on my ass about this big brother thing. You know what I'm saying? Been I mean, it ain't, it ain't about no big brother. It's just presence. Gotcha. It's just coming to practice, being around, being in the stands. Because when I was playing, when I was young, yeah. when I'm looking over and I'm seeing Russell, when I'm seeing Cornbread, Cornbread, Heinz, you know, the guys, the forefathers before me who hung out, who hung, who built all this, who put all them up. Right. You know, just for them to just be over there, I would just, I'd be like, you know, damn, you know, this is big bros is in the house, so, you know, we got to come with it. Mm. And it, it, don't even, it don't even have to be a conversation just to see that. You know what I'm saying? It was just like, okay, Robert Parrish, okay, all them, right. you know, the guys so, who built this. So I'd just be trying to tell him, like, look, man, come be a presence. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure the guys would love that. You know, I like coming Absolutely. around. I'm a fan, you know? I didn't put my time in. I, I, I seen y'all grow. You know, for me to see y'all grow from, you know, your young days to y'all turning into, you know, coming into y'all prime, it's just like, it's cool to see. Talk about y'all like, growth a little bit, man. Like, y'all been together, what, what, how many of this, six years together? Seven? Seven, six, six, seven, six. And y'all all young, yo. Seven, 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 six, six for me. All of them, Talk about y'all growth a little bit, man. I mean, it's crazy, you know, with me being the longest tenure here with, between these guys, uh, you know, and those two came on, you know, especially with JB, we had that relationship, you know what I'm saying, that big brother, little brother. And it ain't no little brother thing. Uh, Relax, <laughs> let me cut out. Finish, damn. See, look, this dude, you see, see already. You see, I, I can't even finish, you know what I'm saying? I got you, like I said, it ain't no little brother thing, but it's that, that brother thing right there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So, now here we go. You got it. You got it, bro. You got it. But, you know what I'm saying, that's what it is. And then, you know, JT come along and, and uh, you know, just talking to these guys and, uh, you know, my time being in here and what I've experienced and then having these guys come in and, you know what I'm saying? Teaching me a little something from their experiences um, and what they, you know, their goals is. And I can't lie, it's been a blast, man. I enjoy going to work with these dudes every day. All right. I got to say, man, y'all look different from last year. From you, more importantly. You look aggressive. Are you playing with a different fire this year? Yeah, I think, uh, I think we all are. Um, I can't stress it enough of, you know, y'all know what it feel like to get to the finals and, and not finish the job. Uh -huh. um, you know, that was like the worst feeling ever. And then the whole summer, all we had to do was hear about it, hear about, you know, half the people said, you know, well, y'all play hard, y'all, you know, did y'all thing. And other people was like, you know, y'all couldn't get it done. So just having to hear about that the whole mm -hmm. summer. Um, and all of us individually and as a collective, you know, um, we just working towards getting back to that point. That's all. all that's all I care about, that's all these guys care about, is getting back to that point and uh, <clears throat> making sure we finish the job. So, you know, we can't look past nothing. We, we taking it one day at a time, but that's all that, you know, no individual accolades matter. It's just Word. getting back to that point and, and, and hanging a banner. Word. Well, when I'm watching y'all, man, y'all look like y'all in unison, man, real shit. Like, you know, we came in here today and, uh, I saw JB killing the guy down here. I ain't know what was that, JB. What, what was that? Just, I'm sorry. I gotta ask, what was that? I was just going through some, you know, practice. It wasn't nothing. Just working on your footwork, you know, mm. your craft. A lot of times you come in there, be all three of us mm -hmm. in there going at it because really? you know iron, kind of sharp, sharper iron. Like so we're that. just trying to get better. Like you said, like last year, man, for me personally, like it was embarrassing. 
You know, one, the whole world was watching. I think it was one of the most televised finals, finals yeah. in finals history. So mm -hmm. it's like the whole world is watching all over the world, all over America, and they all saw us lose. They all saw us at the end on our home floor, game six, almost just let the rope go, right? And they celebrated in our house. Like that, that hit me different. Right. Like that embarrassed you, pissed you off. So this summer, like, it was, it was no questions about it. Like it was, you going straight to work, you know, get, get stronger, you know, get better, you know, more discipline, you know, become a better leader. Or How can I, you know, be a better teammate? All of those type of stuff is what drove kind of this year coming back into it. And, uh, and this, to this point, we've been able to accomplish a lot of the things that we wanted to come into the year with, but we still got some work to do. When y'all get together, who initiates it? Uh, it's kind of, really, be honest, like, he might initiate it sometimes, oh, okay. JT might. We all take our turns. And that's the beauty of it. It's not just one guy, like, everything's on you. You got to initiate it. What's we'll we get together? Who you going? That's real. That's real. That's real. That's real. That's real. You got to get together. That's real. You got to get together. You got to get together. You got <laughs> I'm, I'm asking what time to yeah. get together. Who <laughs> initiates that? Nah, you, you know, know what I'm saying? saying? We like to just be around dinners, each other. Cards, right. you know what we're talking about. Yeah. Now I say that because P was like the one who always got us together, took us to dinner. You know what I'm saying? When we was on the road, we was always banded together. I'm not too much a person who's going to be going out too much, but I, you know, I, I go out to dinner. I get up with the guys when all the guys get up. Do y'all have a do y'all have a continuity like this? Definitely. Oh, with the, with the we team? definitely, we definitely, you know what I'm saying? Even if it's just, it might not be dinner, but it might just be in the meal room. We all just kicking, okay, talking, okay. chilling, you know what I'm saying? Playing a little cards. How about say y'all play cards yeah, there? Y'all yeah, yeah. gamble? Y'all? You know we do. I'm what's right. what's yeah, the game? What's the game? What's the game? What's the game? You know we got a boo ray now. How about you, say you know, right. call We don't heard all the stories, man. We got to get our boo ray. We got to get our stories on. Too. Right. Right. We got to hear the boo ray story. You already know it. Who the nice in boo ray? Got to ask this. Who winning all the money? It's one of these. JT? <laughs> JT, you, JT, you play Boo Ray like JT that? JT play Boo Ray. JB don't even play them. You don't, yeah, want, you don't, don't like play that's them. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I don't play mm -hmm. Boo Ray. That's them on the plane. But. We'll play Boo Ray, but you know what I'm saying? I wouldn't say JT win all the money, right? I ain't gonna he, say nothing. He, he up right now. Oh, wow. Now, see, he that's the right thing. Now. I think that type of stuff just build camaraderie. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Y'all around each other 24 7. Fuck. You at practice, and people don't get it. You at practice, you on the plane, you on the bus, you on the hotel, y'all together so much. So that just build chemistry and, and camaraderie. And plus, y'all been together the longest. So y'all know each other like the back of y'all hands. So I say all that stuff is fun. Like, that's the type of stuff that gets you through the season until you get to the playoffs. You know, you got to have fun off the court. You know, that's the only way. And don't be in the restaurants like we was, be in the back, like oh, take man. the whole back room and start a whole dice game with 20 people. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, part of being a big brother, I want to show, share, share some of our experiences too so that y'all can be better. You know what I'm saying? But if you do, you pay for the back room. Go ahead. You know what I'm saying? Get a great offer courtesy of KG Certified and BetMGM, the king of sportsbook. Sign up using bonus code KG1000 and you'll get back up to $1,000. Yes, $1,000 in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. That's for real. BetMGM's parlay specials, daily odds, boosts, fan-friendly promos make it the best place to bet on all your favorite sports. Download the BetMGM app today or go to BetMGM.com and enter the bonus code KG1000. Yes, KG1000. And you'll get up to $1,000 back in your bonus bets if you don't win your first bet. Nothing beats a W at BetMGM. Bet responsibly and nothing but love. They live in a whole nother world. I was about to say, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I'll sit up and listen to it. There's cameras everywhere they go. You know, it's harder to do stuff without somebody always in your face, just mm. taking a picture, taking the video. And so they move different. No shit. You know what I'm saying? They move different than we did. I expect y'all to be moving different. You know, it's a different yeah, world. Yeah, this world's different, yeah. It's a different yeah. world. Like you said, it's it a is. different world, man. We, as you guys know, we targets. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> Everybody know what we what we got, what we making, what we gonna make. Fine. You got you gotta you gotta move differently. It ain't it's, it's no disrespect to nobody, it's just the circumstances call for it. Did y'all feel like y'all the hunted? 
y'all in the East right now with everybody chasing y'all? Y'all getting everybody's best? For sure. You ever watch film and see this nigga on the film and get to the game and this nigga look totally different? By far. Do y'all feel like y'all the hunter right now? Yeah, I think, uh, like he was saying about staying motivated and locked in night in and night out, you know what I'm saying? It's easy to come back and just trying to fast forward to the playoffs, right. but you got, you know, preseason. And like you said, this everybody seen this go to the finals. Everybody, you know, we got the same team with a couple of additions. Uh, and we can't play the record of who we playing against. Facts. Uh, Cause we've done that a couple of times this year. And gotcha. you know, right. some of the times, regardless of what they record, that was the best game they played all season. And it just kind of, you know, reminded us that, you know, that's what we're gonna get every night, regardless of they're the best team or the worst team that, you know, for that game, they're going to, you know, get up to play against us because of who we are. Um, so just a constant reminder of, you know, how locked in we got to be, um, you know, every single night. What's the adjustment been like, man? Uh, you know, because I, I talked to Coach, and I feel like y'all could have went either direction to start this year off. Uh, coach Joe Bonzula comes in, and, like, how was that? Because it could have been like, I feel like it could have went either way. Y'all could have been like, oh, you know. Sob story. Sob story excuse or let's stay on the path that we going on. Like, how's that, you know, with him at the at the front chair now? Uh, I think for us, like, we looked at it the same way. We was looking at it that it could go either way at the same time, too. Um, and then once the, the ball kind of rolled out, you know, the NBA is a player's league. We kind of figured out, like, man, this is our team. Mm -hmm. And it's on us, mm -hmm. you know, regardless of what the situation is. Yeah. You know, he know how to play basketball. He know how to play basketball. I know how to play basketball. We put everybody else kind of in position. We got Al, we got veteran players, Rob, Grant, that all was in that. So we we pretty much, you know, took the ownership on ourselves. Then Joe came in and did a good job of, you know, adding some stuff to help us be better offensively and, you know, continue to have a mindset and mentality to push for it. Um, that we needed well, in terms of just taking the ownership, taking the bull by the horns and being like, look, everybody, look, I don't know, whatever's happening outside, it's happening outside. Like, we still got games to win. We still got to go. Right. We still trying to get back. We still lost. And I'm not trying to lose under that momentum. Um, I'm not trying to have nothing break up because I'm still trying to, we still trying to accomplish. Oh what we still trying to accomplish. So we wasn't about to let nothing affect that. Talk about the uh, <clears throat> addition with Malcolm, man. I yeah, love that addition. That, man? I love that addition. I thought he's brought a, a different value to y'all yeah, team. Could y'all speak on that a little bit? What Malcolm's brought to the team this year? Yeah, I think- I uh, Malcolm's love, dog. <laughs> Go ahead, man, <laughs> dog. Go ahead, man. No, Malcolm's been great, I think. Uh, you know, it's 82 games, right? Guys going to be in and out of the lineup. Yep. Um, and to go as far as we want to go, I think, you know, depth and uh, sacrifice. Uh, you know, as you guys know, on a championship team, you may have guys that come off the bench that could start on a number of any teams throughout the league. Yep. Um, but a sacrificing, you know, to make our, our team better. Um, and that's exactly what he's done. Um, when he's needed to play big minutes and do those things, he's done it. And, uh, you know, essentially whatever he's been asked to do, he's done that. And um, he's a big reason why, you know, we've had the best record this year. Absolutely. Um, sure. You know, mm. with a, a lot of other guys, but, you know, we are, you know, extremely grateful that, you know, we got Malcolm this year. Absolutely. Shout out to Malcolm, man. Big shout out. Is it safe to say you're a model now? So are you, oh, shit. Are you doing your... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm dead ass. So I'm it's doing a great the, question. You know what I'm saying? Is it safe to say you're a model now, JT? We all be one now. That's a great question. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Shout out to what you're doing, though, bro. I'm, you know what I'm saying? I'm poking a little bit, but yeah, I want I got I got to tap into it. Talk about it a little bit. I mean, it's like yeah, y'all do y'all experiencing different avenues outside of basketball. Yeah, right. So uh, you're doing a little modeling. I do a little some some. Little some some. <laughs> What's the balance like? You know, uh, and maybe specifically, you know, and this can go to all of y'all, but like the balance between just basketball, y'all. Uh, or your own brand's business, because it's a different game, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and family, you know, how has it been like balancing all of that stuff? Because I feel like y'all got so much on y'all plate. Y'all got more on y'all plate than we had. For, right. for us, it was, more, it was more about basketball. It was a lot about basketball, but, you know, y'all got 
social media following. You got y'all brands bigger than ever. Y'all taking tr more control of y'all destiny. Uh, like, how is that balance? You know, just with all the things you have to manage, you know, with basketball. I think it's, uh, I think it's a good thing. And I think uh, you're right, it definitely is a balance. I say you keep the main thing the main thing, which is the basketball, which opens the doors for all of us to be sitting here in this room, mm -hmm. but also to do all the things outside mm -hmm. and go all the places that we've been able to travel. Um, but continue to take ownership in our brands, mm -hmm. you know, using our influence in our community, our platforms, you know, using, you know, every angle and degree, because you only got a short window. So really maximizing it and taking advantage, because um, you know, I work on the, with the union, and you see, you know, uh, guys who always come back and say, I wish I took more advantage mm. throughout the duration yeah. of my career rather than wait it to the end. So I think players are starting to learn a little bit earlier that you can manage both and balance both. Yeah. Like, we're capable. Yeah. Like, they always tell us, uh, just focus on basketball and nothing else because they want us to be distracted on, you know, all the other things that people might be taking advantage of us mm -hmm. outside of the game on. But in reality, you know, we're more than capable of being a young CEO coming out, being on the basketball court, yeah. running our brand, taking care of our family. Um, that's what we designed to be. You know, young kings and queens, stop I listening to everybody else trying to deter you from, you know, what you're capable of. Um, we're more than just basketball players. We yeah. always have been, you know, you know, people have gotten comfortable putting us in the box mm -hmm. of entertainment and they just want us to stay in that box. But you a human being, you a family man, you know, you got kids. I got one kid. What <laughs> 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 <Yeah, the> fuck? <laughs> you got my fault. <laughs> <laughs> you got a kid. There you go. My fault. <laughs> 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 you got two. But, you know, we all got <laughs> stuff that we do. This nigga crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the jokester on the team, man? Who, who, who makes everybody laugh? JB? JB? Nah, I don't. Me? I'll take it if they say I am. Word. No, I think JB it's... JB Goofy. We Word. got Blake. Yeah, Blake. Oh, yeah, Blake. 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 the one. Blake is. I'm playing with Blake. Yeah. Blake. Grant. Yeah, Grant's funny. I saw Grant in some, like, school musical or some shit lately, right? <laughs> I'll tell you everything you need to know right there. Word, right? No, <laughs> I mean, he killed it with the doo at the end. I ain't yeah, gonna you know. saw that? Yeah, it's crazy. The, with the doo wah We'll pop out the same. Okay. <laughs> Listen, I'm only saying this to say that all these characters on here is how you actually get through the year. I used to look up, man, and feel like I was in an episode. You ever look at the bus and be like, man, look at us, man. This, this shit, wow. But at the same time, that's the same things we talk about when we get older and sit with each other. Are y'all in it in the present and understand that each year? Because y'all not have players come in and out of this. Mm -hmm. Are y'all in it to be aware that, you know, this is a special group? Do you feel like it's a special group? By far, by far, you know, I've been here nine years, so right. I don't see, you know what I'm saying, people come in and, and, and leave and, right. and then come back or not come back and then say, I wish I would have come back right. because of how special the team is, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of great players, you know what I'm saying? These two here, top of the chart for us, right? right. You know what I'm saying? Right. But at the same time, with them two being at the top, their egos don't surpass that, mm. you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not bigger than the team. You know what I'm saying? They got all the individual accolades coming their way, still going on, um, and they still, you know, find ways to, to, to make sure that everybody on the team is getting better and, you know, that they're aware that, you know what I'm saying, without, without us, you know what I'm saying, they wouldn't be who they are. So, you know, when you got guys, you know, in their position that does that, you know, um, it kind of forces everybody to follow, and that makes a team special. You know what I'm saying? When they're able to be coachable, when they're able to take criticism, when they're able to understand and look yourself in the mirror and go, you know what, I fucked up. Mm. It's kind of hard mm. for the, the 15th, the 13th, the 10th man to say, I ain't do nothing wrong. Bullshit. Right. Mm -hmm. You got top two motherfuckers admitting that they did something wrong. So right. if they not perfect, you know what I'm saying, nobody's going to be perfect. And that's just what makes this team because we know we can look to those two and uh, we can, you know what I'm saying, we can lean on their shoulders uh, in times of need. But at the same time, when times are high, we understand that, you know what I'm saying, they're going to show love to everybody. I'm gonna give y'all y'all roses right now. Right. I've been impressed on what y'all been able to do. But what I've been most impressed uh, about y'all, I mean, because look, you defensive player of the year. Perennial all-star, in my opinion, you're the best two-guard, best two-way player in the game. You 
could possibly be the MVP this year. But you know what I've been most pre impressed about y'all is the culture y'all kept around here. Right. The culture that y'all been able to build here. I think that's what's most important. There's so many talented teams around here. And you look and I say, you know, why are they not winning? Why are they not doing better? Because they don't have the culture. Right. And so I just want to tell y'all that's what I love about y'all. When I look from afar, when I'm here, when I'm sitting here talking to y'all today, y'all are continuing a great culture here with the Celtics. And that's important, mm -hmm. you know, and it starts at the top and it goes all the way down and you guys are continuing that. And that's, you know, that's just me letting y'all know that. Give me y'all flowers. Today, man, we, um, we talked to a bunch of Johnny Joes. I don't know if y'all know steak dinner. I don't Frank know Burke, know Frank Burke. I know numbers. <laughs> Call him Tate, Frank Call him Burke. Zarin. Zarin. <laughs> no, All the characters in here. They nicknames. Everybody. Oh, yeah. Because I don't know nobody's real name here. I call everybody by nicknames. Right? So <laughs> each and every last one of them came up to us on their own and told us how humble you two are. <clears throat> Speaks of credit to y'all raising and to your character. Talk about where that comes from, each of you. Where do your humbleness come from? Uh, I think, I mean, for me, it's, uh, like you said, how I was raised for my parents, especially my mom, uh, coming from a single parent household. You know, my parents was 19, uh, you know, didn't have much, you know, come from St. Louis. It's not, I think it's the best place in the world, but, you know, it's, uh, you know, not a lot of great things coming out. So I think, you know, just being grateful that a kid coming from St. Louis, single parent household that, really just had a ball in a dream mm. that, you know, now I get to live out that dream in reality. And I just try not to take that for granted. Uh, you know, I, I get to make a lot of money playing basketball. Right. And, you know, I said, that's just anybody's dream. And, uh, you know, just being very thankful, being in this position to, to be around guys like this. You know, I come in here every day, I call this work. Um, you know, there's people out there working nine to fives, trying to make things, ends meet. And, uh, you know, I get to come play basketball for a living. So, you know, I try never to complain and just be thankful, uh, you know, because this really is a blessing. That's real shit. Real shit. What about you, Jay? Same. I think my humility comes from, you know, the most high um, and God and just being grateful that I was blessed with ability to, you know, play basketball. And that gave me a platform that I used to, to try to help people. And I feel like that's where the reason why that blessing was bestowed because, you know, the creator wanted me to use my platform to help as many people as I possibly can. So the minute I stop being humble, the minute I stop doing that, I feel like he gonna take my, my gift away. So mm -hmm. it's like a responsibility, I feel. I feel like it's an it's a obligation more than anything. And that's where the humility comes from, why I'm here, what my purpose is, what my mission is, and uh, how I plan to use my platform is all tied into one. So, you know, I got to remember every single day when I come in here, it's not about me making a certain amount of money. It's not about me, you know, receiving a certain amount of awards. All of that stuff comes with it and it's great. But personally for me, it's about, you know, pushing my platform, being a voice for the voiceless and trying to reach as many people as I possibly can through this game. Mm. That's dope. That's real dope. I've always wanted to, I'm gonna turn this around if y'all had a couple questions that y'all want to ask us, what would it be? Start with you, Marcus. Ooh. <laughs> I got what I Look at you. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I want to know what happened when uh, it was the playoffs and you had to get in the wheelchair. You had to come. <laughs> I sprained my MCL. It was your, your MCL. It was my MCL. Yeah. Uh, I don't believe all them rumors. <laughs> I had to go to the bathroom. What rumors? You was there. What happened there? I don't know. I'm asking what room is you talking about? Everybody <laughs> talking about I had to take a shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you sprained your MCL? Yeah, feet? I turned my MCL, dog. Sprang you act like MCL. you can't play on the MCL? You ain't never did that? Oh, Lord, I'm asking you what were you talking about? I told about? it. I just, everybody know this, but you know, now that we got social media and all, everybody spin, they make their own narrative. So that's, I sprained my MCL. What you think I'm holding my knee for? Mm. What I'm holding my knee for? Mm. Come on, dog. 
ain't gonna make me. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna find the hands up in a minute. Right? Oh, 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 you gotta stop. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, man, oh, oh. <laughs> now we go right in the bathroom and get some town business right quick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> go ahead, JT. What are you about to ask, man? You about to say I something? I'm my MC. Man. All right, man. And the doctor said, no, no, no. I said, my oh, niece yeah, said, man. don't put no weight on it. Right. Like, I'm like, all right, I'm going to stand up. He's like, don't put no weight on it. So that then was, they carried me. And then the they brought out the wheelchair. It was the finals, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't ask for that. I just say, go get the wheelchair. <laughs> like, like, come on, dog. Let's clear that up. Let's you know, I'm sure trying we... to clear that up. I didn't yeah. like, man, come on. And so I, the moment I stood up, so I stood up, I was like, man, let me see how this feels. All right. Oh, all right, it's cool, it's cool. Back out there. <laughs> there you they didn't let me put no weight on it. So they, when I put the weight on it, I knew I was cool. I was, was like, good. all right, That's I'm good. Give me the new brace. Because it feel kind of loose. It was kind of loose. Like, uh, you know, you, you, if you double join it, you could pop it in. It felt kind of loose in the middle, right here. Uh, why are you looking at me? I'm like listening that? to the story. <laughs> Oh, we listening to the story? We listening to the story? <laughs> nah, yeah, but you know, you, you say your shit here, you look, double jointed. Somebody looking at you like this while you saying something. They like, come on, dog. Come on. Don't, do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> hey, yo, so I put the knee joke, brace on. So this, is classic. this is classic. This is every day, y'all. Love this it. Every day, y'all. Every is day. Nah, this is how we, this is how we always been. Straight dog. up. But <laughs> this is what gets you. You know, you always talking about staying connected. We've we been get, into it before, like. Right. You know, I, I, I'm he'll big get bro, on though. me. He, I'm big bro, though. You he, understand he, what I'm he, saying? He's three, he's three months older than me. Okay. He's true, anyway. but I'm big bro, though. Hear me? Uh, whatever, dog. You went out of high school because I didn't know we can go out of high school because I had 30 in the Mickey D's, too. So, yeah. you know. <laughs> so we still on this, JT. I didn't know, I could go out. I didn't know we could <laughs> jump to high this. school. He just jumped out of high school. But anyway. <laughs> you got to read, read the whole thing, man. You got to read everybody the whole thing. Looked up. Everybody looked up like, oh, you can do that? Right. You got to read the whole thing, man. <laughs> no, but, no. man, we wanted to come up here, man. We just um, thank you for your time. I know how this shit be. Yeah. Want to come in here. Uh, not only give y'all y'all flowers, man, but give y'all the opportunity to have access to us, man. I know how this shit be. Um, you go in playoffs, you go through different stages of the of the of the of the of the year, man. It'd be good to hear some of this transparency. It'd be good to hear some of this, so that you don't think that what y'all going through is is like a first time for y'all. But other groups have been through some of the same things that y'all going through. Mm, on you know and off the court, straight up, straight up. So I think the message here is just stay together and finish off what y'all what y'all started. Y'all got something here. If you ever need somebody to talk to, trust me, we done been through Facts. everything that y'all going Facts. through and gonna go through, Facts. and that's on and off the court. I mean, fights y'all done got into. Huh? We ain't never fought. Talking about we fights, argued. Like we argued. We done argued we a lot. One or two. Yeah. No, no, we, no, we, 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 we argue. This is what I love the debate. Talking about like in the, out, of the, out of the years of the era, when y'all was together. I never, I got into one who practice. Who got in a fight? I got, I swung. Me and Perk got into it one time, but you wasn't there. We no. was, we was, I swung on Perk. Uh, but Perk about to whip my ass one day. I was, I was, I was shook. <laughs> I was shook one day. I was like, hold on. My big fella wasn't gonna, he wasn't gonna let it happen. But I wasn't ready. I had to get my intensity up for him. I, mean, yeah, I was, I was too calm. You know, if I had got my like intensity that. up, then I probably would have, but I was too calm when he was, he was, his, 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 his he got too hot quick. I wasn't ready. My no, stone wasn't we, ready. We, 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 <laughs> listen, and then too, I, I gotta say this, man. We handled things a lot different than probably you guys. Yeah. Doc gave us a lot of freedom as players to actually interact with each other. So we figured that the coach couldn't actually say nothing to nobody in this room. So, you know, we would always ask the coaches to remove themselves and then we would actually talk about the problem and then yeah, deal yeah. with the problem. However, yeah. I mean that. And um, the one thing I can say about Paul and Ray and even Rondo, uh, it started with the three of us. We've always had a certain level of respect for each other. And we, ask, we always displayed that, that respect in front of the other guys so that they can fall suit and fall in line. And, uh, you know, we're a bunch of knuckleheads, you know what I'm saying? It's coming from different areas, different backgrounds. But when we hit on this floor, we was always together. And then, that, and then another thing, when we was off the floor, we actually, you know, socialized and, and went out. And we was just a big I think mob the beauty of anything, about us, you know what I'm saying? I think the beauty about us that we could get on each other like say not me, and, 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 like like I got on ticket or he'll get on me, but like after every game, we'll go at the game, we'll sit right. and talk about it, we'll leave it there, Chop, and laugh move about on. it. 
You know what I'm saying? It's important to leave it there. It's not personal. Yeah, you got to guard him. You got to do this, man. You right. got to show him the pick and roll. Come on, man. This nigga say anything. Like, you know what I'm saying? This nigga say anything. You know what I'm saying? Nah. So, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. so he got one of the stories. <laughs> Listen so, to this goof ass so, shit, y'all. So this one of the stories. We playing goof the Spurs. He's this goof ass shit. We he playing the Spurs. Out. I know exactly where he's going. Hey. The, 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 Set it up right, too, now. I got you know me, right? <laughs> I got you know me. So just you know me on this tear, y'all. on tear coming in our building. Kill it. So I got Ginobili, so the game plan, woo, woo, woo. We trapping Ginobili. And I don't know, I didn't know about that, but anyway. Now he don't he know He got about four that. at the half, so you I'm looking trap, like, all right. Pete. He guarded Matt Bonner. Matt Bonner got 20 at the half. Matt Bonner is setting all the picks for Ginobili. So we walking down the Come hallway the to the locker room. You, know, you go, you go into the Guess hallway. Guess who's open on the trap? No, listen, though. So we going down the hall. I'm like, damn, who, the, who, who got fucking Matt Bonner? <laughs> Everybody know who got Bonner. <laughs> he got Bonner. Bonner got 21 and a half. It's hot. <laughs> it's career hot. So he turned around to me and gave my face like, I got Matt Bonner. Like, what's, what's, what's happening? <laughs> like, what's happening? 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 Like, you know who got Bonner, nigga. What's happening? What you talking about? Nigga, we helping on Genova. That's why. No, we got B. We got B. We got to guard this fucking ass there. So guess what? I go back to guarding Bonner. The reason he got 20 because I've been helping your ass out. <laughs> I go back to help him bother. <laughs> Ginobili get off, we lose to the Spurs. That's no, how this works. No. I know how the garden is uh, uh, for us. I mean, I know how it's been, you know, in dog years and good years. Right. Like, what, what do y'all feel in that building? Like, what is it? What is it? It's unmatched, I mean, to be honest, man. That shit's unmatched. I mean, especially, you know what I'm saying, like, the tradition and the culture like we talked about. When you walk mm -hmm. into that garden and you step on that parquet and you see it, you see them lights hitting it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? You just get, it's just something that go through your body. You know what I'm saying? You can't really explain it, but they'll tell you shit. I walk in, my shooting time at 50. I'm walking in at 50, and I'm like, let's do this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Just because that adrenaline. Right. <laughs> they like, how the hell you do this? And it's just like, it's a feeling I get, man, when I step in here and it's, you know what I'm saying? And then you get out there and you hear the crowd, you know what I'm saying? And you barely hear yourself trying to talk to one another, and you just warming up, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So. It's unmatched, man, and um, I'm, I've been here the longest. I might be biased, but I've been around every other, um, you know, court, and um, mm -hmm. I still ain't found it. There's something out there, that, you know what I'm saying, that, that's up there, but I still think the garden got them beat. Yeah, the garden's energy's different. Energy different. Yeah, it is. It'll be more different if you out there in the stands, too. Show, it'll, show. It'll go, that's what I'm trying to show. It'll be different. I got it. You see? All right, you see? I got it. If you there for the playoffs and you it. walk in, show. got it. And you right there, man, it. come on. I'm coming, P. That's right, it. that's what I'm saying. Look, y'all got this on camera, this is what he say. <laughs> he said he got it, he said he coming. Well, right there. This nigga want these calm down. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to go to the bathroom and get some dinner right quick, you know what I'm saying? Oh, man. That was amazing to see, you know what I mean? To see, you know, greatness personified right in front of you. We saw both of y'all jerseys retired, mm -hmm. you know, oh, yeah, right. at different times, right. you know? And to be able to be in the building and to feel that energy, the amount of love, the amount of, you know, people that was affected and inspired and influenced over, you know, a generation by, you know, the work that y'all put in on the court and to see that get raised in front of our eyes, it gave me like I was, I had goosebumps, both of y'all retirements, because mm -hmm. it was like, it's, if you plan here for this organization, you know, y'all two are the latest model for anybody coming after. Yeah. Like we all chasing behind what y'all left behind. We all trying to catch up and be on the level. We all trying to raise a banner from what 2018 did. So to see, you know, those, to, to see both of you guys go up in the rafters, you know, was extremely inspirational, you know, for me. Because ultimately, like, what do you play for? Yeah. All right, if you're gonna play, I want my jersey to be hung somewhere, you know what I mean? Yeah. That's the whole purpose of why I'm putting in all this work every day, your body, keep putting you laying on the line because you want to mm -hmm. win, you want to add influence and inspiration to a generation, and you want to be one of the greatest when it all is said and done. So to watch that yeah. from a generation before in front of you, it just, it just inspire you like no other. That's what's up. And it was great to see wars in what, 2016? 2018. 2018, 2018 yeah. 2018. Yeah, 2018. And then to follow it up in 2021 to see yours, man, that was, yeah. 
I just feel bad. We lost both them games. We did. We lost both of them games. Be like that. But Actually, I like to think that place um, having having that momentum like that that carries you. You know, you're gonna lose some of those games, and you can't win all of them. But I gotta say that the the you know the game I went to when y'all played Dallas was one of the best games I've seen. Like just in person. You know what I'm saying? Just the energy and the energy atmosphere. Was crazy. It, was, it was fucking unreal. Yeah. It was dope as shit. So you know, he no. took the mic. He said. I knew y'all fuck with me, but I ain't know y'all fuck, fuck with me like this. this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was classic. That was classic. I'm here. You know, I'm not P. Yo, P been here his whole career. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I told him you that. That's why I say man. you gotta come back to the game. I got it. Like they fuck it. with you like this. I got it. I got, <laughs> it. I got it, man. I sure got it. I just be trying to be out the way. That's all. But yeah, man. I, just know that y'all. <clears throat> just know I'm with y'all wherever y'all at, man. I don't care where y'all at. I'm well traveled. I watch, we try to watch all the games. We try to watch as many games as we can. And we always root for you guys. So, you know, if we can never be a service to you, tapping in with you, coming in here, whatever, we're at y'all's disposal. So just, just let it know. You know, you got a lot of pieces around here that can get in contact. Johnny Joe, we, try, we probably talk, talk to Johnny Joe probably twice a week on text just because he's always checking in with us and stuff. So, you know, you know, even though you don't see us, our presence is always somewhere near. You know what I'm saying? See it. From anything possible to everything. Facts. Love it. But with me being the longest team Celtics, uh, I think my first year was, was that y'all first or second yep. year in, in Brooklyn? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, so I, I, I came in and, and then, you know, I was blessed to be able to, to, to have these two come right behind me because of y'all two, you know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because, you know, hearing that y'all could easily, man, we good. Nah, we right. ain't trying to do all that, man. I'm, here, right. You know what I'm saying, but to, to be able to come to that understanding, knowing you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying we 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 pave a way and we open the door. Now it's time for that next generation to step through. But did y'all did y'all know that, or was y'all was y'all trying to go to Brooklyn, or it just did no? Just... We we the right was on the wall. The right was on the wall for you know what I'm saying. We up. just got it was like Danny we dealt with injury at the end. We were getting older, and we just got I think we just got swept. Uh, and so it was just like, we knew it was coming through the whole process. We was talking to Danny, and then we was like, shoot, if we gonna go somewhere, this was, we, you know, it was like boom, boom, boom. Brooklyn, I was like, well, yeah, I gotta do New York. That's what it came down to. He hollered at me New York with a couple options. Yeah. Man, I'm toward the end of my career. I ain't never played nowhere else. Then I, we can go together. Facts. You know, I can do it. Made sense. It made yeah. sense for what we was doing. So just yeah. another never live in other, any other city. You know, I'm gonna go to a, a city that you know. It was New York at the end of the day. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. New York. Can't, can't fuck New York up. You know, if you would say, if you had to say, oh, we're going to go to Utah or, yeah. you know, somewhere out of it, like, nah. Yeah. I'm going yeah. to go ahead and retire. And I had that player control, <laughs> too. I wasn't I wasn't going to let anyone just, you know, yeah, send me anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Contract. So, so I, had a, I, had a, I had a say on where I was going and all that. But like Paul said, it made, it made the new opportunity to Brooklyn. Like, hey, and we actually to... thought we could win it in Brooklyn. Yeah, you know, like Miami had formed. We beat we beat Miami four times that year during the regular season, and uh, so we thought we get them in the playoffs. We can get them with some younger talent. You yeah, because we had Joe Johnson, Darren Williams. So we thought this was going to extend us a little more, but it didn't work that didn't way. Didn't work that way. Celtics did. I didn't do the Celtics pulled it up? What they Celtics? Pulled, up pulled that, his ass they out. Pulled up Who that, pulled that, it up? They pulled up that yeah. OBF gear. <laughs> oh, this one, we might have to talk about this one. <laughs> but here she still go. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. Yes, I thought sir. I was fly. Yes, <laughs> sir. Right. Looking like somebody's dad. Take it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey. Looking like somebody. Hey. Look, look. Oh, man. I'm, I'm I'm Adidas down. don't go with everything. Oh, hey, look. They go. Hey, they say they're going to hate before they love that. He'll uh, wear a suit with Adidas. He'll wear look. a sweatsuit with Adidas. Some people. I'll be like, dog, Adidas don't go with everything. You couldn't get this off to say that. <laughs> you mad because you can't get that off to say that. Just look. say that. <laughs> I'm looking at him. What, what in the fuck? What the? Hold on. Okay, it's all good. That's me. Right. What is that about? I thought that was first time. 
is this? I don't know what's happening. What is this? Explain it. Explain that. What is this? This is this is fresh. Fuck it with the. I'm rolling with that one. It's JB. I'm rolling with that. Turn money. I got the Cardi A's on. Here we go with the Cardi A's. I got the Cardi A's. That was the flyest one. That's what I'm saying. Hey. Come on. Lewis, 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 you have the Steve Harvey on. Oh, what you got going right here, though? Lewis, let me know what I get. You in the desert? Where you at? I'm in the desert. I'm in the desert with a long sleeve. What you doing? Oh, man, get on out. We can't join on none of this, man. It's all fly shit, man. All, right, man. all of them can't be good on the bag. All these good. Look, 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 I'm going to go ahead and look. Swag, okay. That look like you ready to go to Miami. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I'm saying. That looks like you out in Miami. Yeah, y'all straight. Yeah, y'all straight. Yeah. All these kids. Y'all straight. 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 Y'all Wearing sweats or y'all know the Camisio tape y'all wear? Yeah. Well, they used to find us for that. <laughs> That's crazy. We and should play. Tights. Fine the tights, tights, you know the long, long joints? Lord, man, yeah. stern. I'm not playing none of that. Oh, if you came out with a color, say like you had, because they had white and black. Say like you wore a color, like a, you know, a blue yeah. or whatever. You was in Orlando and, and, and they did the blue, fine. Wow. And, and then if they could see the Camisio tape, he was fine. Like, if they could see this much of it, yo, you got fine. Yeah. It was crazy. Shoe colors, too. You shoe colors, wear. all that. Yep. Couldn't have, you had a white, had to have white shoelaces. Then on, on the road, you had to have black shoelaces. Did y'all have a relationship with David Stern? We had a relationship with David Stern, but David Stern one. was a different type yeah, of animal. Yeah, he was oh, a different type of Oh, for sure. He was he, a different he, type he, of... He not as business. laid back as He wasn't Silver. as open as, uh, as, as Adam Silver's is. Silver's a little more Silver's laid back. He tried to be on the low, but... Adam Sharp. Oh, no, you be in the meetings, though. No doubt. So you know so in the meetings, he, they talk they, they, different. They different in the meetings. Absolutely. Yeah, for sure. If you didn't fall in, he made an example out of you. He sold the league, he built the league, he grew the league. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. he, so his vision of what he, his vision of how he wanted to sell the league was what it was about. So if you didn't fit that vision and you didn't dress like this, if you didn't talk like this, if you weren't doing your interviews like this, or if you were saying this, he wasn't into the culture. He wasn't, he was not tapped yeah. into the culture to be in this. This, right. it didn't start off like that, even yeah. though that's what was running it. And then he had younger, uh, you know, under, underlings, you know, like Adam, who are younger, giving him perspective mm -hmm. on the younger generation on how to grow it. And I, I like to think when Michael Jordan's last days, when he had to actually deal with us, Nasty, you know, deal with the Coves, deal with myself, the Tinnies, and everybody else, the AIs. You know, I don't know if y'all know this, he made Slam, actually, he, he told Slam that they couldn't use the AI picture because AI had tats. Mm. And he tried to make them um, airbrush. airbrush them off. And Slam refused. And that started a whole debacle. But mm -hmm. we fought for that, for the right for y'all to come in Absolutely. and look like that. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? 100%. Yeah. And there was a lot, a lot of sacrifices that went into that shit. A lot yeah. of education that came out of it. And I like to think that the league got smarter and started... Embracing it. Embracing it and taking on like oh, a yeah. partnership, like a real... Yeah. I say partnership, but I'm looking at the partnerships in your actions. You understand what I'm Absolutely. saying? Absolutely. And those actions weren't saying what you were saying out of your mouth. Absolutely. They, Adam, love, they love using that word to partnership. That partnership, but then the partnership come around with a, with a body head body and you like, whoa, what? What the fuck? <laughs> what? what? For real. On, for real. What? They love it. And, for real. And when they get in front of the camera, it's one thing, and then when you get behind the doors, we're being talked to a whole nother way. It's, it's like that because of the, the court of public opinion is, is what yeah. drives viewership, what drives yeah. revenue dollars. So Perception. Every, perception. Right. So that's why everybody is always trying to make sure optics yeah. is clear. And, you know, and that's a part of the game. But in reality, behind closed doors, it'd be different conversations. Yeah. Going on. So we still got a long way to go in actually forming a true partnership within this league. You know, even though we've came a long way, and it seems as if we came a long way and they mm -hmm. announced like we're making money. The NBA is making more money than it's ever made before. Mm -hmm. So we definitely got to continue to, you know, speak up and use our platform yeah, to talk right. about some of the things. Because if not, it NBA falls is going to keep, yeah. you know, 
and building your brands too while they're going to do it. You know, exactly. JT, I, I, I poked a little bit, but that's huge on you having, you know, diversity, trying different things, you know, not just being in basketball, being over here, having a business. You know, I know you got a son. I know y'all got, you know, you know uh, assets that you're going to pass down at some point. All those things you're building now are, are, are going to be the things that you actually, you know, pass down to, to, to your loved ones and all that. But yeah, you got to, you got to continue to have vision. You got to continue to be innovative and you got to keep presenting that to the league because the league is not, it's a know-it-all league, but they don't know it all. And they don't know anything about culture and their business. Two thirds of the league is council. Remember that. And I say that to say that they got more lawyers mm. than anything. You know what I'm saying? They go through those contracts every year. They critiquing them. It's important that you have a vision for yourself and what you want for yourself in those contracts, reflecting that vision. Remember that. Absolutely. Feel me? That's why I signed up for the union, because I got a vision for what the union could potentially mm. be in terms of protecting our players and really including that culture that you're talking about that is so important to us, because our labor force is what has built and constructed this league, and I don't want people to forget about that. Absolutely. You know, so we need to be in those decisions. We need to be in those processes because, you know, at times we're not. Yeah. And, I, and I think that's a part of the partnership that gets lost, that we built this league too. We should be a part of the decision making. We should be a part of where the brand is going. Yeah. And we should be a part of the revenue. That's the deal. And the retired players are in that too, bro. Absolutely. Like, mm -hmm. Everybody, we're all into this together and building this brand we call the NBA. And you don't build it for 20 years and then you're, you're gone. No, this, this carries on forever. These relationships y'all got today, y'all gonna have this for 40 years, 20 years, 60 years, as long as you guys is breathing air. And this is, what y'all putting down this foundation now is something that y'all can lean on for later. So I fucks with you on what you're doing with the league. Keep doing that. Yes, sir. You need that for everybody else that's coming before you and coming behind you. Feel me? Thank y'all for this time today, man. Yeah, Seriously, sure. man. Yeah, I know y'all yeah, sure. yeah. busy people, man. This is it, man. Um, I know how the year be, man. But keep doing what y'all doing. Finish this thing off. Yes, and then, sir. like, again, anything y'all need to tap in on us, man, don't hesitate. Don't let your ego and pride be in the way of, of learning something or or, or being able to, you know, know holler, get you know, game from we'll, somebody. You know, we're going to come out here and just be supportive. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Behind the scenes. Yeah, yeah, have a dinner. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Can I get your reaction to these? Hey, get money. Oh, that's lit. That's lit. Oh, that's fire, fire. Look at that. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where y'all shoot this at? Where y'all walked in in the front. In the front. Oh, word. Say word. That's fire, yo. That's fire. That's lit. <laughs> Keep going, man. Don't stop. It's a bunch this of other shit. Finish this shit off, man. This shit is it, man. Damn. Damn. Give me some, man. This shit is it, man. You already know. You already know. Hostility between these two guys is real. March 25th. My objective is putting a beating on Caleb Plant. Knockout artist and two time title holder David Benavidez takes on the smooth technician and former champ Caleb Plant. I need to teach him a life lesson. And no one's backing down. I'm gonna beat the living out of you. You're not gonna do nothing. David Benavidez versus Caleb Plant, Saturday, March 25th, live on pay-per-view.